All right. I wasn't planning on doing a vlog about it, but I'm guess I'm gonna have to. Yes, Twitch just laid off like 35% of their workforce. Discord laid off a bunch of people. Tech companies and game industry companies all across the board are doing massive layoffs. So are lots of other companies and in other industries. Let's talk about Twitch specifically, but first, yeah, Twitch has never been profitable, but right now, the global economy, not just, you know, here in the West, but the global economy is taking a shit. So companies always downsize when, you know, Canada's in a recession. Nobody wants to talk about it, but it's true. Uh, the U.S. is doing its U.S. thing. Either way, for Twitch, I, I, I've seen lots of reactions to the Twitch layoffs. Uh, it, it's normal for companies to lean down after explosive growth. They go through a period where they have to contract. And in this time of uh, economic turmoil, the, the, the fancy buzzwords to use, there's going to be mass layoffs like we've seen it before time and again especially in different industries when the economy goes bad people get laid off companies are trying to maximize profit and minimize spend does that mean that twitch is going to come to an end or that live streaming is not going to go further because it's in a current period of shrink no <laughs> Let, let's start with this. Relatively speaking, live streaming is still a new space. It's a new industry. Yes, it's over 10 years old now, but that's still new in the grand scheme of the universe. There's not been big adoption like compared to YouTube. Well, YouTube's got a few more years ahead of Twitch for starters. But secondly, it takes time for people to adopt a new medium of entertainment we saw this with video games we saw this go back far enough you'll see this with tv when people didn't think tv was going to catch on you know cable took a while for cable to catch on partly because it was expensive but also because it takes time for people to adapt to new forms of entertainment new mediums of anything really with live streaming the boomer generation, my Gen X generation, which actually is, that's a something else. You know, they're gravitating more towards YouTube and TikTok. Although there's lots of us old farts and older who are live streaming, whether it's on Twitch or on YouTube or TikTok or insert place here. Watching viewership may not be growing as exponentially as people would like, but it's going to take time. The thing to remember, the prime demographic for Twitch is the you know 25 to 13 year olds especially the, those teen demographics and 13 to 18 those kids don't have money to spend on their favorite streamers for starters secondly they can't watch all hours of the day but the thing to remember is that those you know 13 to 18 20 to 30 year olds are gonna have kids and their kids are gonna grow up with live streaming being a regular part of their entertainment and you know we're a generation away from live streaming getting bigger adoption. It's it's a long-term process for forms of entertainment to get adopted. That, that's just how it is. It's like with any other new technology. It takes time for this stuff to get adopted and become part of the regular thing. Will that be on Twitch? Probably not. There's no guarantee that Twitch as a platform is still going to be around five, 10 years from now. But live streaming itself is definitely going to still be a thing. It's always been a thing. Live streaming was a thing before we had live streaming. We just called it access cable. You know, Wayne's World is a great example of that. Wayne and Garth would have been fucking streamers had there been a way for them to do it. And that that's kind of where we're at now, where it's gotten to a point now where it's getting bigger adoption by more mainstream, but it's a slow growth period because A, people aren't that exposed to it yet, and B, People don't have the money. People think it's prohibitively expensive to support streamers because it is. And they want to spend their money on more traditional forms of entertainment, whether they're, well, I say traditional, but video games, books, movies. Not everybody, people don't have the money to spend casually right now on the things that they enjoy, whether it's a streamer, a video game, or anything else. 
they're all struggling to pay rent you know pay utilities food survive clothes gas all of these things but as here's the the interesting thing is as people have less money to spend on entertainment they're going to turn to more forms of free entertainment whether that's watching shorts on tiktok and youtube or watching youtube or watching streamers and discovering streamers and the world of live streaming this is a time when live streaming could if these platforms are able to really make a play into the marketing could start drawing in new viewership but it's all in how they approach it and how they sell it which is the thing you know how would how would you pitch twitch to people who have never heard of it how would you pitch live streaming in general whether it's on any platform to people who don't who don't consume it like for the longest time i, I dabbled with twitch for the last like 10 years but i never took it seriously because i didn't understand it it was only because of the pandemic and really just immersing myself in this space that i've gotten the understanding in the last three years of what the hell i'm even thinking of or talking about and that's kind of what we're we're looking at people are hesitant to dive into something and they might all they see is especially when they see news about streamers it's mostly negative because well that's what gets mainstream appeal is negative stories we start seeing more positive stories then maybe that will change but that's a mainstream media problem rather than a live streaming space problem anyway i just the the thing that bothers me is people saying that live streaming is peaked and it's never going to go any further it's way too early for that kind of doom and gloom twitch had to make massive cuts they had to cut areas that were you know no longer relevant to the company dropping you know features that were appreciated no longer of use or just they didn't want to pursue any longer and they had to trim the fat in this economic time it's sad a lot of people have been impacted and i hope that they find you know new gigs relatively quickly but that's happening across tech and gaming and hell it's happening in retail you know it's january we're the month after christmas in a harsh economic environment there are gonna be cuts it, twitch could emerge from this stronger and better positioned that maybe they could make a bigger push in 2025 should the economy you know turn around which we can hope happen sooner but rather than later but still they could been up they could really make a move and try to push twitch and viewership all these platforms could try pushing for these viewers who may not have money to spend on movies and games looking for entertainment well here's a whole platform full of entertain well somewhat entertaining folks not everybody's that entertaining anyway so yeah is live streaming going to end anytime soon no has live streaming peaked also no there's the only growth ahead it's just going to take time to get there and you know saying otherwise is great clickbait for youtube videos and it's great to get reactions on social media but is it grounded that much in reality not really at least from my perspective but you might disagree put it in the comments that's my uh my rant on uh this i'll catch you guys later